What's up guys? Evan Aldo here. So in this one, I'm going to give you a Bitcoin and Ethereum TA update. So, um, you know, basically uh, it does look to be getting a little bit heated, a little bit heated on Bitcoin. We are, you know, it does look good. VWAP's still coming up very high into the green on money flow here. Obviously, we could go higher, could bring us up even more from this. I mean, if you map this out, the last time something like this has happened, um, you know, it could give us some type of scenario like, uh, well, where were we in the money flow? You know, something like here to here. So as I talked about yesterday, could come up another, you know, 16% from this or something, something along those lines. That's right, you know, kind of when it happened around this area. So 16% from there, you know, 54, that would be a good resistance point. I think in the very short term, we're probably going to cool off a little bit more though um, before this does happen. Let's look at the 12 hour. So 12 hour, you know, you are, you do have divergence. So money, I mean, momentum waves are coming down as you can see as money flow is coming down as well. We could draw that out just like this and like this. Keep in mind it is the 12 hours, so things do take some time to play out. Some may argue that it played out there in that big correction, but I mean, money flow is coming back in, VWAP's curling down. Eh, it's interesting to see. Uh, you, you do have that, um, this momentum wave coming up right there as well. Um, 10 hour, yeah, I mean, it's still coming down. Not really a divergence here because it's following it's more following the, uh, the price action. It's following the price action. Six hour. Um, VWAP coming down. Yeah, VWAP coming down. It does look pretty indicative of some type of correction. We could draw out our Fibonacci on where we could end up with this. And eh, good shot. I'd say more likely than not, we end up bouncing off somewhere in this pocket, I believe, based on this. Um, this VWAP's been above the zero line for a while. Usually when it's been above the zero line for a while, you finally come down. It's a decent correction. Um, so let's look at the four hour, four hour, same thing, view up and up for a while. And it's finally, finally coming down there. Um, interesting kind of how I've been trading this. It's just been, um, little short trades and then locking in profits and getting stopped out. This happened twice so far. I did it last night, locked in profits to 40% out. Um, did it this morning, locked in profits to 40% out, got stopped out again. And now the third time, um, I tweeted before about the uh, blood diamond on 30 minute went in there and locked in profits set stop loss to entry point however i'm still in that trade haven't gotten stopped out from this one yeah it's 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 nice gains you know it's nice gains coming in you know obviously you want to see more of a longer trade or swing trade with this uh, hopefully it'll you know come down quicker rather than later you know you don't like to always see the volatility oh, up down up down but uh yeah so on these lower time frames you do see it it does look a bit overheated you are coming down view up is coming down to one hour um 30 minute same type of deal you know this money flow crossover these money flow crossovers do not lie that's where i went right in right when we lost that fib level figured we would come down farther and we have so far took in first profits over here that's the first place of resistance that's usually where i take my block in the first profits for most trades it depends i mean i'm being more conservative because i'm shorting in a uptrend i'm going against the the curve so yeah um 15 minute um you know, we do have some money, some courage or some money going up. Yeah, I would want to wait um, until this curves into the green for it to be any confident with a uh, long position. I'd want to see our four hour VWAP curving back up as well. Let's look at Ethereum. I've been long on Ethereum since uh, since all the way, all the way back on this trigger wave. I tweeted about this and I have 20% of the position in just letting it ride, letting it ride for now. No reason to really do anything. Just take the risk free money, stop loss to entry point. Let's do a top-down analysis. Basically the same as Bitcoin, uh, basically following that. So, you know, some may argue there's a divergence. It's not as bad on, um, not, not as much as a uh, bearish divergence on Ethereum, uh, really, as Bitcoin. And, uh, you know, momentum waves, they're okay. They're following uh, price. So nothing nothing looks unhealthy. Nothing looks unhealthy here. We um, It does just look indicative of a healthy cool-off for a bit. Uh, confirmed red dot on the four-hour. Uh, view up coming down while price is coming up indicative of sideways or cool down or whatever um, this looks a little overheated on the two hour it seems like it's coming down seems like it's correcting you know where could this lead us to let's go top to bottom fib level um, you know we bounced off of that fib level so far maybe that was it i think in more likelihood we got a little bit of room to come down um, confirmed a red blood diamond on the hourly. Those are usually, you know, those usually mean business. It is a smaller time frame, and you think it happened, but um, little trigger wave right there with the red. Um, 
seems to be coming down. Seems to be coming down there. Seems like it's overheated. Seems like we need to come down maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more based on this. You know, we went up from the crossover from here all the way here. I don't think we'll come down all the way to this level to 3,200 or whatever. But I think one of these levels, I think there's probably 80% shot we come down to this level. Uh, maybe 50-50 if we're coming down to, uh, to this level. Um, 30 minute, you know, when you're printing double blood diamonds, you know, that's, that's cause for concern. That means it may come down and probably repeat how it looked on Bitcoin. There's like a little more money is still in here than Bitcoin, but it does seem to be coming down. Um, okay. Let's look at Cardano. And I think Cardano is going to be, um, uh, probably a boring for the next month or so. I think it, it definitely will come back to its, uh, its all time highs and go above and beyond that. I mean, there's a good shot in this cycle. This is going to come to like, mm, you know, at least, I'd say it's a good shot. I'll call it a, like seven, eight bucks, at least maybe even 10 bucks or more. But yeah, seems to be losing that FIB level. That doesn't look too good. Um, it doesn't look bad in the daily though. It looks like we're about to print a, a green dot. Um, 12 hour, you know, you kind of have to lean a little bit bearish, but we're coming back. So it's really going to be time to choose here. Are we going to go down farther with this? Or are we going to, you know, have a scenario where we, uh, where we come up like that? or come down or come down in the red for a while for a few months. We'll see. We'll see. You know, a lot of people have been talking about this. I think it'll be boring for the most part in the short term. It'll be boring until a lot of people, um, you know, get sick of it. And then, yeah, and then it'll come back red there. Not a, not a cause to go long. Uh, I'd want to see more of a money flow crossover. That is a trigger wave down and two hour, just very choppy. You know, I, I think we may repeat just the choppiness for a bit on this. That's ADA. I want to look at Avalanche because that's been having an incredible week. Um, so Avalanche, as you can see before, I drew the uh, divergence I wanted to make on this. Um, the VWAP is coming up on the daily. However, you know, be cautious. It's been above the zero line for a while. It could just curve back down and go under. This is a divergence that seems to be playing out. You can see it better on the uh, the 12 hour. Um, it did. This is all time highs. We are in price discovery mode um, or we just went below it. So we were in price discovery mode. Um, divergence there that definitely is a divergence you can make the argument that divergence played out um, right right here and then we're just healthy and we have more room to grow um, the the trend is your friend the trend is positive on this we're printing a little uh, trigger rave right there on the six hour those usually so yeah we do we may have some room to go up a little bit farther on this you are in price discovery mode I mean 70 bucks 75 um, I think by the end of the cycle, I mean, this is definitely, there's a good shot. This is go above a hundred, but, um, in the meantime, you know, 75 is a big point of resistance. Then after that, probably a hundred would be a huge point of resistance. Um, still money coming in, in these lower time frames, So it doesn't look terrible. I mean, you may be a little late on this, probably where the FOMO is starting, finally printing a, uh, red diamond in the hourly. I mean, it, it'll be, um, interesting to see, you know, what happens with this. Maybe we'll have some situation like here, um, over the next few days come up a bit more, maybe to 75 or, you know, I, I don't think this is the top just yet. Let me look at the 30. Yeah. It does not look to seem to be the top just yet. So I think we have a little bit more, a little bit more room with, uh, with avalanche right now. Um, I want to look at hex token last because hex is interesting. Um, well, not too interesting. So basically it does look bullish, um, on the daily VWAP is coming up. Um, we had that correction there. We're fighting with this fib level, the two, three, six fib level to see if we could get through it um printing you know a uh, trigger wave there looks good looks good i think more likely than not we may have some situation like that and we're coming up with the vwap there and the six hour i mean eh, it's it's half and half you know you, do you want to buy something when it's like hitting into this resistance level i mean this could be forming like a bear pennant almost but you know there's still enough reason to believe that we got some more time with this four hour that's where it looks a little bit more bearish you are printing that red dot and then it's indicative maybe it'll come down momentum going down however it is following price so it doesn't look extremely unhealthy this doesn't look real unhealthy not just yet um here you know you do have money coming back up there's curvature i want to wait you know i want to wait till money flow crossover happens before i want to buy more of this or something like that maybe we come uh on the hourly we come back into the red and then we come back up and then finally um go towards back to 50 cents there's a good shot of that happening here, you know, I mean, money is coming up. That's just as price um, is kind of coming up at the same time, you know, from here. So, 
you know, it looks generally healthy. I think it will trend up as everything else does. We'll see what happens at this uh, resistance level. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that technical analysis, showed you how I was uh, navigating the markets. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if this seems really complicated for you and you want to learn more about Market Cypher, check out Jason Casper's trading course. I'll link in the description below. Just got code Evan Aldo, 17% uh, off. It's, this, it's the course I took to learn how to trade. It helped me out a lot in the beginning. He really goes over all the things you need to know about Market Cypher, especially how to interpret it and uh, all of that and uh, risk management, all that type of stuff. So uh, check that out. If you don't have Market Cypher, discount code Aldo15, link in the description below. And uh, if you want to help support the channel, I need to create a new account on Phoenix, Bybit. I want to start out there. Uh, check my links in the description below. All right, guys, have a good one. Thanks. Bye.